Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to take a look at Bitcoin. Because we are starting to get a little bit of a sell-off, I want to take a look at some big news happening in the crypto space. A huge, huge airdrop that happened on Solana. Some people making millions of dollars, seven figures worth of free airdropped crypto. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is selling off ever so slightly. Yesterday, we did have the FOMC meeting. Jerome Powell was a little bit more hawkish than people expected. People were expecting a cut, but we heard basically no cut is to be expected, even after March. Very interesting. People seem to be shocked, even though it's relatively good news. We talked. He talked about the 2% inflation rate to reach that point is still on target. He doesn't expect to go below that. Lots of... Lots of double speak going on, that's for sure. But um, all in all, it should be positive, but it was a, a sell event. It was hawkish in the tones he was using. But so all in all, Bitcoin trading at $42,153, down 1.1%. Bitcoin dominance trading at 51.15%. When you exclude stablecoins, it's more so like 53.15%. Basically, slowly grinding up since yesterday and over the past few days. You know, I've been talking about this for a while, guys, that I do expect as we get closer to this halving that uh, we see Bitcoin start to make its way down, uh, probably spill over. And right now, that's what we're starting to see. And as it spills over, we'll probably see Bitcoin dominance increase and maybe even get to that 55, 56% Bitcoin dominance level, which would be very interesting to see. But I do expect it. I do see it on the table, especially if we see these big swift moves to the downside or even to the upside even if we do get an invalidation on bitcoin and instead of spilling over let's say we come down here we test this forty thousand dollar price level once again and we decide to make our way back up above forty six thousand get those weekly candle closes above forty six k we'll probably see a continuation to the upside we'll probably see another leg up and it's super super bullish if we see a weekly candle close above forty six thousand but as of right now I am leaning into my thesis that we are going to spill over and start to head into this blue box here, which in my opinion is a great place to increase exposure to the crypto space. Back here when we dipped down to about 38000 I told everybody I'm going to start buying a little bit. I bought some Ethereum, but uh, if we start to spill over more, maybe even reach 35000 I think it's a very appropriate level to increase exposure if you are feeling underexposed. Now that's not financial advice. It's just my opinion. I put my money where my mouth is, and that's what I'm going to be doing. If we do spill over and make it a, a little bit lower than that $38,000 price level that we've barely got a little wick down there, if we decide to spill over, that's what I'm going to be looking to do. Acquire some altcoins, increase my exposure to the coins that I'm really believing in. And let me talk about a coin that I've had my eye on. That would be Jupiter. Jupiter, guys, was just airdropped yesterday. It was basically an aggregator. So basically, anytime you want to swap swap through some wallets like Phantom Wallet, you use an aggregator which chooses which is the best DEX to swap with. And um, through that aggregator, they were tracking the volume that you've traded, and they did give airdrops to everybody. And it it even rallied all the way up to about. 60 70 cents around that area this chart is the best chart i could find it just released yesterday but guys keep in mind it went up to 70 cents a 70 cent airdrop and guys there was some people that made millions of dollars yesterday just from that airdrop now i made i got 3200 jupe i sold it for about two thousand dollars a free two thousand dollars from Solana, I love it. That only happens in crypto where you just get free money airdrop to you. And I said over on Twitter, you can follow me at 333 Black C. I said, selling the news to buy back lower. Great move or great mistake. Time will tell. And so far, right now, it has been a great move. Uh, Jupiter has been coming down. It's been a sell the news event. And I do think with you couple that with the market moving down right now, I mean, Solana selling off another 4%. I've been scalping Solana. I've been shorting it a little bit, got some profits. But uh, seeing everything sell off, it's, it's probably probably going to continue a little bit. Now, I am looking to buy back into Jupiter. Jupiter is a very interesting coin. It is doing such volume that it's kind of on pace to 
uh, reach the same volume as Uniswap, which is the number one DEX in the world, which is me, has my eyebrows raised a little bit. I, I am interested, and it's gotten my attention, and I am looking to layer into this, especially, especially if Bitcoin decides to spill over here in that $35,000 price level below 40 k above 28 k in this box. I'm looking to, for more exposure for that coin. Jupiter. And it, it did literally just get airdropped yesterday, so we need to be patient with that price action. Right after a coin gets airdropped, usually it dumps, it pumps, it goes left and right, it goes crazy. So um, I'm going to be very patient about uh, finding my appropriate entry point when it comes to Jupiter. But that being said, guys, it is the first today, which means that we did get a monthly candle close on Bitcoin. And it is sitting basically on top of this blue box, which is very interesting to see. Guys, long-term time frame, we're going up. We're going up on Bitcoin until we break this market structure and this trend, until we break below 28,000. <laughs> we're going up, guys. And I'm saying break 28,000 on a, a monthly candle basis, a week a weekly candle basis. Let's look let's look at the weekly really quick here. I mean, until we break something significant like that, guys, we're on our way up here. It's Everything is fine and dandy. Don't panic sell. We did make that local top here at about 49000 but we're spilling over. All in all right now, we're making a higher a higher low, guys. It's, it's, it's a green light. It's a green light for an increase in the longevity of this market trend if we decide to make this higher low and that's exactly what it seems like right now even if we come down to 32,000 we're still a higher low uh, the only thing that I, I really worry about is if we break below 28k but so far we're far away from that uh, until the end of February I expect sideways into the downside that there's a higher probability that we spill over even though February is relatively a very bullish month I'm talking probabilities for the past Every February that Bitcoin's been in existence, it has had a higher chance of closing green than it has been for closing red. So keep that in the back of your mind. However, I do think that the way that this market is structuring right now, especially with this wick to the upside, I think that we're probably going to spill over. But if we trade sideways, then prepare for, I'm saying trade sideways for a significant amount of time. I'm saying through February, maybe even into halfway through March then I expect that we don't get that pullback and we start to make our way to the upside. So be patient, guys. If you like this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. It really, really helps us out a lot, guys. Crypto Kip and I are going to continue to give this content to you guys on a daily basis. Please like the video, subscribe. Also, please go follow me on Twitter at 333BlackZ. Let me know if you think I'm crazy for selling my airdrop. Yesterday, and yes, you know I'm going to buy back in. The question is when, not if. And also, if you would like, please check out some awesome referral links we have down below this video. We have a $4,100 sign-up bonus to Femex, $8,000 sign-up bonus to BitGet. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.